Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. Today's January 27th of 31 days of continuous content. We're still cranking on this train, and thank you guys for riding with me. All right, the content today. Content today is going to stack on a, two other videos that I did earlier in this month. And they're all about the Democrats and are they signaling weakness? Well, we've got even more evidence that they are signaling even more weakness on the Second Amendment gun grabs that they uh, really have thought about and talked about. But we're going to dive into that in one second, but it's a good one. So, before we dive in, the newsletter, guys, you're blowing me away. Like, you guys are getting ammo links, you're getting availability to magazines, all these different things that I can help you and send you for free. I want to make sure you guys have what you need. 5,000 people have joined in the past 10 days total, and you guys are doing amazing. You're joining the way that this, in my opinion, the Second Amendment is going to go. It's going to go underground. It's going to go peer-to-peer, -peer. and I think it's a great thing. So if you haven't joined yet, please join. The link is in the description box below. I send out pistol ammo that I can find every Friday, rifle every Tuesday, and then that's all I ask is you to take a look at it make sure you've got what you need. So that's that. No sugar update, still sitting 239, 238, so I've kind of plateaued, so pretty cool, looking forward to February. But enough of that, now let's get to the meat. All right, so to catch you guys up, if you guys didn't see the other two videos, here we go, I'm going to give you a brief synopsis, and if you have, just bear with me, I'm going to add the new one here in a second. So the first thing that they did was two reps across different states basically came out and said, hey, here's new house resolutions for three bills that we'd like you to adopt that chip away at the Second Amendment, but in a roundabout way that don't really do anything, right? The first one was gun bill, um, no, uh, basically close the gun show loophole, which they have this huge crush on, um, which doesn't exist, whatever, another thing. Um, the other one was hiring 200 ATF agents, and the last one was like declaring a national gun violence day and month. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so that was the first thing. Second thing that they did was they came out and they um, started passing or advocating for and putting bills forward in state legislatures of, of like bans on assault weapons, bans on AR-15s, bans on high capacity magazines, specifically Washington and Florida. So those are the two things. And if you recall, the main point of me bringing those to your attention was it shows weakness because if you're doing these things on a state, local and itty bitty piecemeal, piecemeal bills in Congress, that kind of signifies there's not a big unison bill, not like, there's not unity, unity behind a common drive with a bill specifically. That was the idea. Well, now we have another one. You guys are all caught up. So now we have another one. So Biden's advisor, like one of the main advisors, and you can look this up, this was a quote that was quoted, basically came out and said, expect high, what was, expect, uh, not high, expect, um, oh yeah, high impact executive orders to affect the Second Amendment. Gun action, gun, gun legislation, gun executive orders, okay? So now we've got three different pieces that are not legislative on a national level that are coming forward from different, basically different sections of the Democratic Party, multiple wings, all doing different things that are all inconsequential and can't really have a like insane impact. They can have impacts, but they can't do the national widespreading gun bans, right? So now we've got three. We've got individual legislatures doing their own bills because they obviously feel there's not a bill that's coming. Because if they did, if they felt there was one coming, why would they put their own forward? That doesn't make any sense. Then you've got state legislators, which are acting at the state level independently. Again, if there was a national action coming, that wouldn't make sense to do. Why would you do that? The federal supersedes um, local. That doesn't make any sense. And then now you've got Biden's administrative um, assistants coming out and saying, well, actually it was an aide, administrative aide, saying, expect high impact Second Amendment executive orders in the next few days. Right, and we all know Biden's been on an executive order crush for the past, like, week. He's done, like, 33 and I think, six days or something. Um, <laughs> hey, get the dictator! But Biden does 19 times more executive orders in the same time frame than the... Whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Facts aren't important. But that's my thought, guys. I, I really think there is no unity. And now we have three different independent situations from three different areas of the Democratic Party going in their own directions, all in, inconsequential. So, one of two things here. This is either the greatest fake out of all time, and they're just kind of throwing everything at the wall that they possibly can because there's something big looming. 
or they've got nothing. And it's almost like the specter and the driving force of the Democratic Party was the bad man, orange man, Trump bad. And now that that's gone, there's not a unifying force with agenda set forward. I don't know. Is it just me? What do you guys think? I'm going to stay on this uh, story, this idea, this... I'm going to keep following this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Am I way off base here? Is this something worth following? Like, all these things. Throw it in the comments field below. I'll see you on the newsletter. And until the 28th of, the, of January, I'm Braden. See you later.